everyone, it's Lori. I am so excited to show you this new update to the Cricut Design Space app on iOS devices. We now have the option to upload images. Yay! This is big news. We haven't been able to do this in the past. We had to go into Design Space from a desktop or a laptop, upload our image, save it, and then we could go grab it from our iOS device. Well, now we can skip all of that and just do all the work right here on our iOS device. I'm working on an iPad and I'm going to show you how this works. Now, first of all, before we get started, if you don't see this new button right here that says upload, you need to go get the new iOS app update. And what I had to do was go into my home screen, press and hold on the Cricut app, hit the X to delete it. And then I went back into the app store typed in Cricut, hit search, that um, Cricut Design Space showed right here. It said download, I downloaded it, and now I can open it. So once you have the new app, and you'll know you have the new app because you'll see this new upload button. Once you have this new app, you're all set to go. Now one thing you need to know about the new upload feature is it only works with JPEG, PNG, BMP, and GIF files. It doesn't work with SVGs yet. I have a feeling that may be coming in the future, but for right now, we can only work with those file types and as or in the iOS device, you can still get SVGs through your desktop app. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on upload and you have a couple of options here and I'm going to run you through all of these. You can take a photo, meaning I can take this iPad, take a picture, and we can work right from there. We could select a picture from our camera roll. Remember, we can only work with JPEG, PNG, BMP, and GIF files, or we can open previously uploaded images. So the first one I'm gonna show you is take a photo. I have taken a coloring book page from my grandson's coloring book that's laying around here for when he comes to visit. I'm gonna lay that down and make sure my iPad's going the right direction. And we're going to choose the take a photo option. So it says Cricut Design Space would like to um, access the camera, that's okay. And now I can hold this right up and take a picture. And I wanna get most of that picture in the screen. That'll just give me less cleanup. Perfect, and now I just hit the picture button now I can say use it or retake it. Picture looks fine to me, so I'm gonna hit use. So it's gonna open this right in Design Space for me. And now you can see it looks great, but if Design Space were to cut this out right now, it's just gonna cut around this outside square because that's all the edges it sees. So I have some options here. I can hit remove, erase, crop, undo, and redo. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop. I'm gonna get rid of the top of my desktop and the rough edges of this paper and get close to the image as I can and hit done. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to remove some of the background. So I'm gonna click the remove button and I'm going to click on part of the area that I want to remove. And Design Space is gonna look and find everything as close to that as it can and it's gonna remove it. So you can see up here is a preview of what Design Space is seeing for the cut image. So we still need to go around and remove a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna remove that inside. And what it's doing is finding colors that are of equal color that it feels I'm trying to tell it to remove. So you're just gonna work your way around the image and remove all those gray areas. I probably could have found an easier one to demo here, but this is going re relatively quick. And you can see up here as you watch the image, the design space is starting to figure out where I want my cut lines to be. And if you have some intricate areas, you can pinch it and zoom it in and zoom it out. So we're getting there. Let me 
zoom back out a little bit. And all I'm doing is touching the various areas of gray to clean this up. Now I'm not going to go through and finish all of this, but I want to show you some of the other features. So I can go in here and I can click erase. So say I didn't want, um, for instance, this spot to cut out. So you can click erase and you can totally wipe something out. Now that's a little bit too big. So this controls how big my brush is. So let me make that a little bit smaller and we'll try erase again. And so now I can go in and erase parts that I don't want. Just like that. Isn't that cool? Now we have more options. So we're going to go next. And you can see this looks pretty good except for I still have some junk. I have some dots and some other stuff I don't want. So we can go to despeckle and I can make that increase that a little bit and look all those little pieces are gone so that's getting rid of all the little bits and pieces of stuff that I don't really want and the more I increase it the more it's going to get rid of but now it's starting to get rid of some of my stuff that I do want cut out so that's about as far as I can go with that or I can hit smooth and now it is smoothing out all the lines, the jagged edges. Okay, and now I'm going to click Next. And I can name this, I'll call it Dino Done. I can choose whether I want to cut image or a print and cut image. So Design Space is going to do its thing and think about it. And now this is right here in my uploaded images. I'm going to hit Insert. So now this is a cut file. Now again, if I were really going to put this on a shirt or something, I would spend a little more time and I would finish cleaning this up. But I want to show you how to use all these different features. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to go back to upload and we're going to select from camera roll. Now, I know a lot of you love the files from Love SVG. So when you download their files, not only do you get an SVG file, but you usually get a PNG file and those are perfect for this. So we can, this is the PNG file from Love SVG and look, it's already cleaned up for me. My preview is showing me an absolute clean space. There's no background. We know this by the checkered background. I don't need to clean this up. I don't need to do anything. So I just hit next. Here it is. I could despeckle and smooth if I need to, but I don't need to. It looks great. So we'll hit next. And again, I can save it as a cut image or a print and cut image, and I'll call it Dream and then Love SVG so I remember where I got it from. And I'm going to save it. And again, it's going to bring this into Design Space. And I can choose it just like any other cut file. This is now ready to go and be cut out in vinyl or whatever I wanted to do with it. So let's get rid of that one. Now I'm going to show you one other way. Say you have a JPEG file. So we're going to hit, oops, close that. We're going to hit um, upload again. I'm going to hit select from camera roll. And here I just did a screenshot of my Love SVG file just to show you some other options. So this, I don't want all this stuff to cut out. So what I would do is hit crop. And I'm going to, I really just want this part, so I'm going to take my corners and zero in on the part that I do want. And because this is a JPEG, that background's still there, so we're going to hit done. And now I need to remove that background, so I'm going to click the remove button, click on the white part, and now it has removed it. But if you look up in the preview, you can see that there's still... Um, I need to take out the insides of those letters. So we're just going to click on that and I can zoom in here and click on those white parts in between the letters and delete them. And you can watch it over here in the preview screen to see what else you need to delete. Uh, looks like I need to do the E just in case you can't see it. You can watch it over here. Whoops. And there I accidentally hit the letter instead of the middle of the E. So you just click undo 
and I can zoom in so I can get that better right in the middle, right in the middle of the R. Oop, undo. I'm gonna zoom back down. Go over here. Need to get this P and the two little pieces in the S. And we look really good. Zoom this back down. Take another look and make sure everything looks good. All the middles of my letters are good. We'll hit next. And we can despeckle if we want. And then move this up a little bit. And you see, because this is such a clear image, when it starts despeckling, it's going to start losing some of that. So you might just want to do just a little bit just to get it clear. And I see those circles in the middle of the S's. That's kind of what I'm watching. So this is really a pretty smooth image. And we can click smooth, and that will just smooth out those outer lines. And again, we'll click next. You can save it as a print and cut or a cut image. Again, we would name it dream. I'll just call this one dream. Hit done. And now this one's in design space, ready for us to use. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, post them. We'll try to get answers to you. Um, really excited about this update. This is huge. This is a big deal. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.